Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scraptiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with a project share. I have decided to do a craft fair at my children's high school. They are doing a fundraiser and um, they're gonna have a craft fair in December. And I immediately started getting ideas and I immediately went straight to uh, Scrap in the details a uh, YouTube channel because I know she does a lot of craft fairs and I love her style So I immediately immediately went to her channel and started watching her videos and I was totally inspired um, With her setup and what she created for her fair and so I wanted to re recreate Something similar to what she did so that is exactly what I did and I will leave her information in the description box below So y'all show her some love and check out her channel. All right, so let me show you what I used Okay, so I used these different embossing folders and they're all by Sizzix. I used this snowman embossing folder. This gingerbreads um, with the little tiny hearts is also Sizzix. I used a Swiss dot, which is Cuddlebug. Um, and then I also used a few more, but I think they're all Sizzix. Um, I used this snow and cocoa stamp set that I picked up from Tuesday morning. I just used the two in the from stamp. I used, um, this heart doily and this doily right here. It's like a really pretty floral doily. I used um, this tag from this uh, die set right here. I used, um, I have one example of this bow right here. This is the Echo Park bow, looks like that. It's gorgeous. And then I used a gingerbread die, which I did not pull. And then I also used this 12 by 12 premium stack. I picked it up at Tuesday morning. It's vellum with foil. And um, this worked out really awesome when um, trying to duplicate what uh, Suzanne did on her channel. Now mine are similar, but not exactly like hers. Um, but I tried to um, do something similar to what she did. So um, anyway, here is my first example. And as you can see, I use the gingerbread embossing folder. I have my heart doily. And um, this right here, I actually was going to tell you, this is actually a party streamer. And so I was in Hobby Lobby the other day and it's right near where all the crepe paper is. Crepe, crepe paper, is that how you say it? <laughs> Anyway, it's in that section and this is a great alternative if you can't find the vellum with foil paper in case you want to recreate these um, pillow boxes. This is a great alternative. So um, I use that and then also another um, good idea is um, with the heart doily, I used that gold foil paper that I picked up from Michaels. I remember when we got it on sale and it was like $2 a pack. Um, so, uh, I used that on a couple of them and I was wishing I used them, used that paper on all of them because it was such a cheaper alternative as far as paper goes, since I'm going to be selling them. But I did wind up using a few sheets of my crafter's companion, um, heavyweight, um, cardstock that I just recently purchased, but that's okay. I'm fine with it. But, um, that's a cheaper alternative, FYI, in case you're thinking about doing a craft fair, um, definitely go with that uh, paper from Michaels. It's thin and it still gives that pretty effect that you want. This is that Echo Park die and I only did one like this because this bow die is a lot of work to put together and if you're doing a craft fair and you're making 20 or 25 pillow boxes, you, you just, I don't know, it just depends on how much work you want to put into it. I didn't want to do that much work because that's a lot of die cutting so I just did one because I wanted to see what it would look like and I think it came out gorgeous and I love the little gingerbread tag um, that I stuck on this one because it matches the little gingerbread that I embossed. Now um, a lot of people were asking me, I did post this on Instagram, how I embossed my um, pillow boxes and by the way I picked up these pillow boxes from Michaels. Uh, they were near the wedding section, I believe, and when I picked them up, they were only $4. They were having a sale. I think it was 4 for 25 and I think they're normally priced at $10. So if you don't catch it on sale, you can obviously always use a coupon. But I'm just going to open it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So when it's laid flat like this, this is what I did. I um, 
stuck this embossing folder, if I can open it, I stuck it in the center, I centered it up, and then I used my extra large die cutting machine. I have the Spellbinders Platinum die cut machine, so it allows me to die cut or emboss um, larger um, items. So that is how I did that. I just stuck it in the middle and I had enough room because it's eight and a half by 11, that size die cut machine. So I'm able to stick my uh, embossing folder in, lay it straight or at a diagonal, and then run it through my die, die cut machine and emboss it. And that is how I die cut just the center and not the uh, ends of the pillow box. Um, and the reason why I did that too is because I just, I didn't have any really extra large um, embossing folders. Um, this one was slightly bigger, but it wouldn't cover the entire um, pillow box, if you see what I'm saying. So that is why I only did the centers. So, um, and it, I think it worked out perfectly fine, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So, um, so there's that one right there. Um, I did some silver. I thought the silver was pretty as well. Now, that double bow that you're looking at is the Brenda Walton Sizzix Bigs die. Um, the rest of the uh, boxes are made with that Brenda Walton bow. Um, here is the to and from. And on the tag, I did add some washi tape, and I did that to all of them. On the gold ones, it has gold washi. And then I only did a few silver ones, but this one, uh, it coordinates with the silver. And um, this one I've used a snowflake embossing folder and I think that came out really, really pretty. Um, here is the example with that floral um, doily and I think that's gorgeous. Now this was kind of a lot of work to cut out because it is an intricate <laughs> die, you have to pass it a few times, but um, I think it's gorgeous and there's the gold washi and this one's just the gingerbread one, really, really pretty. And this one right here, again, using um, silver, and it's all the way around with that uh, vellum with foil paper from Die Cuts with the View. I think that's a gorgeous added touch, and it gives it a lot of detail. And this is another one using a bigger doily die. Again, the Brenda Walton uh, Big Sigzix die. I used some silver, uh, or not silver, but gold washi right here on this one. And then this one has the striped um, foil paper, vellum foil, which is gorgeous. And I wanted to show you one more, one more, just a second. <laughs> here is another one that I made, again, using the bigger doily. But here I have the gold polka dot vellum that I used that came in that stack, which is absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. And I think... Um, It'll be a great seller, and I'm really excited to share with you um, some more things that I'm working on, so stay tuned to my channel. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to leave them down below. Leave me a comment. Check the description box for more information on today's video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.